It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Hello there, welcome to the program. It's a fantastic lineup this morning as we've got revelatory stuff, juicy stories, and high flying drama that concern your favorite celebrities. I'm Tokumbo Taiwo, and I'm here with Elsie Godwin and Ife Oshunkeye. So, um, before I come to you, Elsie, let me quickly get an update from Ife regarding fever because you've been giving us updates, okay, updates, updates. Okay, update, okay, yeah, nice one. I was even going to give you an update on something else, but good you brought that one up. Have you caught the fever? <clears throat> Elsie, welcome back, by the way. Thank you. Albert. Yes, welcome back, Not yet, <laughs> but I love the video. The video, regardless of having... And you like the video, Vixen? Yes, the okay. video is beautiful. But you were here like, when I told you. The emotion was real. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's really, really, if it's at all acting, but... You think it was acting? Elsie, come on, nobody Elsie. can pull the wool Elsie. over your eyes. Elsie. You should be able to tell. You know you should be giving me my yeah, 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 yeah. Before yeah, you yeah. get that, you told us it was something beautiful and like yes. not the regular yes. shaking, bum bum, yes. whatever. I told you, right? But yeah, yeah, you yeah. said it. I told you it was I love the Thank video. Thank you. Tokubo doesn't agree. It's <laughs> I didn't crazy. Say so. You said it's you not crazy. You didn't say it's crazy. crazy. Video. Is it no, crazy? The video is lovely. That's but it's not crazy. crazy. Is it crazy? It's crazy enough for the song. Yes, bro. So, two against one. Tokubo. I'm always is very um, concerned about your, <laughs> your music being yeah. at least being relatable with what you're yeah. singing, not yeah. singing something else and doing something else, and then you're saying you're crazy. Yeah, so it's a crazy video. So it's a crazy video enough for the song. I love the video. All right, Sorry? so I love the video. You love the video. I'm glad you like it. So yesterday I was saying the video would um, hit one million views on YouTube Has in it? 24 hours, and it's 1.3 million. Mm. And it's not even 24 hours. It's 1.3 million now. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's not even 24 I hours. Oh, it must be 24 already. hours now, though, because okay, the last yeah, time yeah, was 20. Yeah, it's 24 yeah. hours now. Okay. 21. I think the argument yesterday was that by this same time tomorrow, mm -hmm. it would be 20. It would have hit one, 1 million views. And it's so, so he's yes. done that already. Yeah. So yes, and I um, want 5,000 naira by from, the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank 5, you. Okay, 5,000. Udoka, Udoka, if you are watching, my 5,000 naira. My 5,000 naira, bro. I, there I was trying to be, quite, you know. I was like, <laughs> all right, so. All right, you know what? I know. Oh, oh, good heaven. <laughs> it why, always why gets is very. It's difficult for you to agree that this is something. No, that's not the thing. I need to go on a break. You don't need to go on a break. We don't need to go on a break. Okay. All right. They don't want to go on a break, but I need to take a quick break. When we come back, I think we'll carry on with the camaraderie that is going on here on Tea Time. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you that deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of the haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably I haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like a hundred people asking for help a day. That's a fact, I can prove that. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. And we're moving on to our first story, which is on Nollywood actress Juliet Ibrahim, who, as we said yesterday, has finally revealed why she broke up with Iceberg Slim. Now, the headline today is that he has reacted and does so by shading her ever so subtly. So, if I let me come to you quickly on this, because... <laughs> I know, like slim shady. <laughs> what was the reason she? What was the reason she gave? Well, she didn't tell us, which was why I was so mad. Up, up, you, about not just blog, you. I was, yeah, I was upset as well because we were not okay. clear on, yeah, on what, they, what it they was. They said she reviewed the reason they broke up, but mm -hmm. if and you there was read the story, no, no, she didn't say anything. She only said she that she respects all her ex and she wouldn't talk negatively about any of them. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Which is why I have a problem with what Iceberg Slim did because um, this was she a woman who respected you mean. enough mm -hmm. not, not to, to say anything. the actual reason why you guys broke up. Mm -hmm. Then you now Come refer to, to her as 
toxic. No, but you know he did not mention her to you. It is still the same bloggers that true, are... True, true. No, no, but it's not, it's not just the something bloggers. If you put not, something on your yeah. Insta story, mm -hmm. after reacting to what your ex-girlfriend said, mm -hmm. we all know we're not stupid. This time, we can't blame the bloggers. I love the bloggers. Oh, wow. Sometimes. Wow. I love the bloggers sometimes because they because see... Sometimes I believe you should be one. Well, sometimes I should know. Because the problem with if I blog, maybe mm -hmm. I'll probably be dead like Dilly Giwa because I'll be blogging. No, but you blog truth. you yeah, you be blog, but you blog like from like from afar. Like I think like Kemi Olilo. It's not like you be oh, blog. Oh wow, no, I don't want to know. Is that please. a blow? Is that a blow? Is that a blow? No, no it's below not. the belt. Okay, I don't know. Uh -huh. But I don't think he was referring to her. I know it seems very coincidental mm -hmm. and everything, but I don't think you'll come out as a guy. Let me give guy respect now because they say you people have sense more, you know. So I don't think a girl will come Not out all and guys say, have sense. I know, I don't think he will come out after the lady has said, I want to respect my I respect all my exes mm -hmm. who've moved on and blah blah blah. And then you come out to say, Oh, she's toxic. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think it's a bad all right, now, Let me tell you why I think all right, let's what start rounding up. He we said, haven't got long. Because they said it's toxic and mm -hmm. when when a toxic person when cannot can no control, control you, you anymore, they try to control mm -hmm. how others I'll, see you. Yes, yeah. the misinformation will feel unfair, but mm -hmm. stay above it, trusting that other people will see the truth. Just yes, like you because did. they asked her that what was the reason why they broke. They said she now reset back to them that those that those are close to me know what happened. So obviously, she's the one who has a problem. Okay, Elsie, let me quickly ask that you. That does not still prove that she's the one who has the problem. She mm -hmm. said those close to me know okay, what Elsie. happened. No, no, that's Nobody's not. No, perfect. He's, I yeah, mean, in every if relationship, not it's defending, a combination of No, that's not. If I just telling you what they said yesterday, mm. but I want to ask you, based on what we've said now, mm -hmm. it's just your opinion. It's mm -hmm. not like you know for a fact. I know. So, yeah, so I just want to, do you think she might be, because I hear what you're saying. Do I think she might be toxic? Yeah. Controlling. I, I, or I, controlling. I don't know Juliet Ibrahim, Ibrahim. Enough, okay, to enough to conclude and conclude. say she's toxic. With okay. a charisma, no. I can guess she's that probably she is. controlling. Oh, if I know you, I know you. That's why it's like, let me go to Elsie. How do you just look at someone's If they just that all the time, you mean? agree in, or decide. If they pulls figures out of thin no, air, he looks so at people just and just like, you and say you're manipulating. My brother, that's the thing. I live in Ghana. I've met Juliet Oh, Ibrahim. you are saying Ghanaian women are manipulated. Oh, okay. he, he has met Juliet Ibrahim. And she so was very, controlling. very toxic on the day you guys met. No, me. You Can anybody control me? Ooh. So how did Ooh. you find out? Before Ooh. she comes to sue you I'm now, just, no, who no, Okay, no, you no, said no, there are no, some no. people that say it takes a toxic person to, to know, know another toxic person. <laughs> well, sometimes I could be very toxic. <laughs> All right, I think we should move he, he on before we start yes. another <laughs> argument. Next up, Timaya reveals why he collected his car, uh, his car gift, that is, to Empress Njama after they broke up. Like, why else? That's the funniest guys, part of my morning. Did you guys watch the video? I did. Did you watch yes. the two hours? Video? No, of course No, not the two hours. Might, Come on this. now. The when one with Daddy Freeze, yeah? Give up. But first, let's start by talking about to... Samaya's creep. Did you guys? It was cool. I was like, I dope. Oh, it, there was a. <laughs> I don't know. He was like, forward. they went. That the yeah. freeze was driving we and he was filming himself, yeah. and then yeah. he was saying he's going straight to Samaya's house. Mm -hmm. Then he got to the creep, like mm -hmm. MTV creeps type of mm -hmm. settings. Mm -hmm. He showed them around the house before he started talking about mm -hmm. what actually happened. Then the conversation. He was even the one that brought up Empress in Jama. Mm -hmm. Something that happened in 2009. No, no, he didn't really bring it up. No, he Daddy did. Freeze. No, Daddy Freeze directed you back to, okay, let's talk about this. You've not talked about it. And mm -hmm. he was like, okay. He, I think he was just in a very good mood and he was ready to just speak to freely. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time. And it I like was the all those streets that they gave him. He stood up to Daddy Fizz. You know, he was telling, the girl was trying to defend that Daddy Fizz has changed. He was like, no, this one is still the... He got some words I can't say on mm -hmm. TV, and then he was like, they, they were bleeping a lot of things. Tima, it was I, raw I, and the, uncalled. I think I watched mm -hmm. like 45 minutes or one hour thereabout. Just yeah. I stopped where I got mm -hmm. the information I needed to get. And if I I let me ask, Timaya did you watch the two, really, the full two hours? He's, he's an interesting person. Okay. Okay. He has um, some really cool perspective on things, mm -hmm. you know. So, but let's talk about 
what is going on here. Mm-hmm. Okay. The reason he Now let me car. understand. Now you tell you me. No, you, you are always a story No, teller. tell don't, me don't, the don't, reason don't. first. <laughs> no, first tell me. No, I want to okay, know where you understand. Once, but yeah, guys, before you, you even come. start this, if yeah. you were saying something about the house, did you like it or were you impressed? Oh Lord, that it was lovely, wasn't it? Like yeah, it's amazing. Because I thought Yvette was going to say, you never know where Yvette is going to go. I was so pulled around the house. Oh Lord, even the interior. You're even talking about the exterior. Even the interior was really good. The bathroom was so cool that the fish was like, Timaya, your bathroom's cool, so tell you the chop inside. He was eating in his bathroom. You don't understand, uh, like... <laughs> anyway, crazy. let's get back to this All story. Right, so back to the story. So, from your understanding, so, let me get not you. Not from my understanding. From what he said. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. He was dating Empress. Yeah. It was really a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. According to him, he was in love with her. Mm -hmm. And there were rumors of him dating other ladies. Mm -hmm. And she kept on asking, why would you do this? Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Typical woman, you mm -hmm. know, and... He kept on saying, no, this is not true. Mm -hmm. I'm just with you. And she wanted a car. Mm -hmm. I think he said Moran or something. Yeah, she wanted a Moran. Yes. And there was a friend of his who was mm -hmm. traveling out. He wanted to get, and she said, no, that, that's not what I want. I want something else. Mm -hmm. He gave her money to buy the car. Mm -hmm. She says the car is coming from Jan. Is it Jan? Or? America. Yeah, America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jan now. No, the car that's is coming. Yankee. America is Yankee. Yeah. Jan is not. Yeah. <laughs> the car is up there until, I don't know if the car finally came, but in that process, they broke up, mm -hmm. you know, and another lady mm -hmm. gave him a car mm -hmm. as a gift. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's birthday now or yeah. something, but that, that was where that first asked him and said, were you having anything to do with this lady? And, and he said, said no, no, at the time. He said, no, not yet. yet. <laughs> See, I, I like, like that. you know, yeah. and he, he said, it got to a point where the lady wanted her car back. And of course, Empress didn't know that. It was. She, it was a gift from a woman. Mm -hmm. At that point, I think he, he finally opened up to her and says, we need this car back. And mm -hmm. she says, that's my settlement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically the reason why he did what he did. Exactly. Because he felt, I mean, this is my property. Mm -hmm. I gave you money okay. to buy a car. All so right, why guys. would you say you're settling yourself? So Tokumbo, you're not jumping past this one. Mm -hmm. We're what running you, out of oh, time. We're running into time. <laughs> what do you think? He said we're running yes, into time. What do you think about Empress? <laughs> yes. And the whole situation, thinking the car should be her settlements and all that. I don't think it's right since it was intended for someone else. Mm -mm. It wasn't intended for someone Okay, as well, a gift, right? Yes, as okay, a gift. But so... she did not have that information mm -hmm. at, at the time. time. Yes. Okay, so you think that she should be entitled to it? No. Why are you sending the question back to me? I'm asking you, what do you think? Do you think she should be entitled to it? Do you think it was right to have for her to say, this car is mine? It mm -hmm. is my, what did she call it again? Settlement. 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 And then do eight years later as cool? well. Well, I think so. Because like eight years you think later she should and say then. It's a settlement? Well. I, I don't, no, it wasn't, I, it wasn't eight years later. It was at yeah. the time she was saying. Okay, so it was at the no, time. No. Oh, because I thought yeah. it's like it's eight no, years no, no, later no, that she wants to. Oh, I yeah. see. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, I don't think you're entitled to any entitlement since you guys are not legally man and wife. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, this guy has already given her money to oh, buy a Murano. Murano. Yeah. But while you're waiting for your car from, the, the Murano, from he thinks, America, he she actually did not buy. Yes. You are not driving my car. And then mm -hmm. the fan is saying, so I gave you a car as a birthday gift and then you gave it to your if girlfriend. You think it's too low if you think it's too low, then return my car. Then Timaya is like, what nonsense? Like, do you know the cars I have? Like, please give me this car uh, and let us return it. You sorry. get like, it's just... Like I always say, it so gets cool very boy. interesting. So cool boy is trying to run No, I it's look, time, if you know... It's time, it's time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> let's take a break. We'll be back. That this Timaya story, man. Let's just tell the viewers to just go and watch it or go and read it. Because, man, we can't finish talking about it today. It always gets interesting when we're about to go on break. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we've got to pay the bills, so we'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll be bringing you quite another interesting story on an ex-minister's daughter. We'll be quick with this break, so don't be uh, gone for too long. We do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suffered equally confessed. A 500 era de coleta. With no talk, they will beat you. Now, two to other five and defeat.
welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Up next is the story. Police shoots ex-minister's daughter for refusing to open the door. So, well, if I, you know, we were talking about this before the show and yeah. apparently there's some kind of um, background okay. story yeah, or background update. Story. Okay, okay so. so this is a story we haven't spoken about on Tea Time. So I'm just going to be very quick with the background story because there were a lot of stories that are when the story broke, that was on um, October 15th. Today's 25th, right? Yeah. So, so that was about ago. 10 days ago when this story broke. A lot of people said she was shot in front of a house. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said she was walking on a street to get something and they opened fire. Yeah. And so the read, there were a lot of... She was in her car. Yes, but yeah. now the actual story, what actually happened is that... And this is the daughter of the um, ex-minister of finance. Ex, yeah. Wow. Yes, so... She just came back from the UK and she is back to be based in Nigeria to mm -hmm. start her life all over again. Mm -hmm. And then this is someone that is new to the system. Then mm -hmm. she was in a car and then I think it was a checkpoint and they told her to calm down. Mm -hmm. And she was scared, you know, when you've heard so many stories about police brutality mm -hmm. and things like that, she was scared. So she refused to open the door and tried to move mm -hmm. and the officer opened fire. Now, all of these officers have been remanded and they're being investigated. Mm -hmm. So this is the update to the story. So I just think it's just um, worthy for us to okay. talk about um, is it. There's some aspect of it that I want to clarify. Yeah. This is a recent event or happened like 2016 because I'm mm, confused. It's a recent, no, it happened, it's a recent this, event. This yeah. year. This, it happened like 10, last days two weeks, yeah. 10 days ago. 10 days ago. 10 days ago. But the actual story just came out like what actually happened because there were different Opinions stories. at the time. Yes, okay. people okay. said she was and driving. I think the was trained on her kit. On yes. Her issue, like mm -hmm. um, justice for. Um, Anita, yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's have, her name, isn't I, it? I don't Anita. have much to say about this, but I'm mm -hmm. going to just put a thought out there. Okay, now we live in a country where policemen can actually just shoot you, and I don't know if they really get to go into jail and face what they've mm -hmm. done or whatever they do, but I feel like it has gotten to a point where these policemen can actually be used as an assassin in your life yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. Because if it happens, they'll tell you, oh, it's police negligence, police brutality, there, is, there are some people remanded in the prison. Mm -hmm. We've not seen their face right now. We don't know what is happening. So right now I'm feeling like, this is just can policemen thing. now be used as assassins? Because this is a daughter of a prominent person, and mm -hmm. she's just back, mm -hmm. and this happens to her in mm -hmm. Abuja of all places. Yeah, so, Neitama, yeah. so let's side. really think about it and okay. ponder on that. Mm -hmm. Ife? So, well, um, like I always say, I'll advocate for everything good, and now I'm still speaking on police brutality, mm -hmm. and um, I think that should really stop. You shouldn't just open fire, regardless, especially when you see that the person is not armed or anything. So why open fire? Mm -hmm. The person wasn't trying to cause any um, danger to your life or mm -hmm. anything. So why? Open I think he was trying to open the door by, you know, yeah. by force. Like, yeah, by but he wasn't he shot at the discharge. I know what it I'm saying. Is he was they trying to open. Shot at her. Yeah, but he wasn't trying to shoot her. That's what I'm saying. He I think he was trying, trying to, to open the door. The door. Open. Exactly. Who exactly. trained him to shoot a exactly. door open? All right, time for another break. When we come back, it'll be time for some very revealing stuff that concerns the late XXX Tentacion. We'll be right back. It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of duh. Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like a hundred people asking for help a day. That's a fact, I can prove that. Welcome back, you're tuned to Plus TV Africa, the big stories live right here and you're watching Tea Time, which brings you the big entertainment stories and our next story is no different, recording surfaces of XX Tentacion as he confesses to eight stabbings and domestic abuse. <laughs> 
Okay, so if I let me come to you, because I listened to the um, audio and, you know, I'm sure you've listened to it as well, yeah, if not, yeah. okay. So I listened to it, there was a lot of swear words on it, you mm -hmm. know, I would have said, you know, for us to actually play it because it was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand that, this is actually just a little clip from um, a longer mm -hmm. version, mm -hmm. a longer yeah. conversation. But from what I could deduce, obviously, but I don't know, then again, in this modern day of technology, we don't really know who is actually yeah. talking, but it did sound like him, it did sound like you think his friend. anybody friends. would want to accuse a dead man right now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Of, of, exactly. So? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it means you don't believe he did it? No. I'm, oh, wow. I'm going to be Switzerland. I'm going to give you two sides. Okay. okay. All right, okay. if I, let's hear your two sides. You pick mm -hmm. one side. Now, this is, first, I'm going to say, let sleeping dogs lie. Mm -hmm. First of all, this guy is dead, regardless mm -hmm. of any mm -hmm. um, confession. Yeah, but the thing is, the, 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 the case, um, the judge, I think, has dismissed, has dismissed it based, it based, on, based on his on death. death. But this yes. is just still coming out now. Yes. I so think this is that's why white people are talking now. about it. Now, four people have been arrested for, mm -hmm. his, for his mother. Yeah. Their case is still ongoing. Now, there can be anything to discredit this guy and make him look like a monster make him look like an animal so that those other people can get reduced sentence Sentences. like you did you did the public a favor anyway mm -hmm. by getting somebody like this off you the street that work? now no they're like, hoping that it yeah, will work they 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 no, no, i'm just saying from a lawyer's perspective no, I don't, do you think that can ever well, work well it, it it could it's a jury case yeah because work. if they need to discredit somebody and make the person look like a monster mm -hmm. and they want to appeal to the conscience of the jury mm -hmm. yes this could work so and, so that could yes, and that could reduce and that could reduce their sentence, their sentence like okay. okay because they would now be sympathetic with them that mm -hmm. okay yes you guys are also bad yeah, but you killed a badder person so they'll get a milder sentence yeah you get so they might get a milder so Okay. This can be doctored. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it, it is, is doctored. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying this could be. could be doctored. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, this could be ex extentation because he was known during his lifetime, he was known as a bad boy, as a gangster. And he was actually wanted for just three stabbings. He was going to try. I think he even served the sentence, I can't remember, okay. about a, a, a case that Daily Times in America. So in that recording, he said the, he's wanted on Daily uh, um, the by the police mm -hmm. right now, that but they are talking about three stabbings. He uh, said he stabbed eight. eight people. Do you understand? <coughs> and then he was talking about his girlfriend at the time, which um, he illegally imprisoned. He didn't let her go anywhere. Was beating her up. How can one be so young and have done all this? That's what I'm trying to yeah, so comprehend. Now that's the whole point. Now this is the. <coughs> that's why I'm saying I'm going to be sitting on the fence mm -hmm. because if you want to base on his history, mm -hmm. then you can, is someone you can classify as a monster <coughs> mm -hmm. if you actually want to make him look like that <coughs> because he has reason, sorry, it's because he has, they have bases to make him look like a monster. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I just think that they should, um, let sleeping dogs lie mm -hmm. regardless and dismiss well, you know this what? recording. If, uh, just hold on to that thought. We'll take a quick break and then we'll be right back. What we do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. It's also equally confessed. you're watching tea time right here on plus tv africa and we were talking about uh, xxx tentacion and if uh, you were telling us uh 
giving us more info. Yeah, so I was just... Um, you were giving us two sides of two the coin. Two sides of yes. the coin. So <laughs> I, I think everybody should just pick a side. If you think... Um, he did it. He did it. Well, he's dead anyways. It doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. But at least justice... They served but to don't the you people. Think at least now they know the killers. Yeah, of, so for those who yes, for those if it's actually true, for those on. who need justice. So it's fine that way. And at the same time, if this is doctored for some people to get reduced sentence, mm -hmm. I hope it gets dismissed. Okay, so. all right. If I thank you very much for your two sides of the coin. But before we go, Elsie, final thoughts before we ra wrap up. I'm Just... actually on his side of the coin. I don't know if she forgot. Like he's... you're on the I'm side, on both sides, on both sides yeah, as well. So, yeah. Oh come on, Elsie, don't do that. <laughs> 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 And <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to wrap up right here, but we're back later this afternoon for the biggest entertainment stories. Before we go, uh, allow me to quickly thank my co-anchors, Ife and Elsie, for their contribution on the program and the entire production team as well. Not forgetting our stylist, Kudis Empire. I'm Takumbo Taiwo, and from all of us here, have a great day. <laughs>